Brightburn was a film directed by David Yarovesky, stars Elizabeth Banks, David Denman, and Jackson Dunn. It was written by the Gunn brothers and produced by James Gunn himself. And it follows this family on a farm who discover that their kid that crash landed uh, in their farm is not all who he seems to be and slowly starts wreaking havoc on this small town in Kansas. I guess really we're just going to talk about our general you know thoughts of the movie what we thought was good what we thought was bad and then at the end of the review we'll just give our overall score so i guess for starters initial thoughts uh it was a fun movie uh it was definitely fun um personally i'm not too big on gore so i wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as i did however Oh boy. Wasn't as much as I was expecting. Uh, still some pretty, pretty gnarly scenes. Can we talk about those? Or yeah, yeah, we can definitely... Uh, I guess without um, with kind of dancing around spoilers, uh, the kills in this movie were definitely the some of the highlights of the, the film completely. I thought definitely um, went all out in the gore department. You know, there were uh, in a shot in the trailer where um, this guy gets slammed into at full, like, super speed. <laughs> Completely, all that was left with him was, was just a pool of blood, and that was it. Um, the diner scene in the trailer as well, that is also just as brutal and very uncomfortable to watch, trying to watch someone get glass removed from their eye, and you see the eye juices. It was, God, that was gross. Um... I did think it was a cool effect uh, they did with the uh, camera from her perspective after she pulled the glass out of her eye. I agree. Yeah, that I was... agree. Yeah, that was, that's definitely a, a very, very good, nice little little creative touch. Um, uh, so what did you think, TJ? Well, overall, I, I don't really watch horror movies as these two know, and I don't do gore, so a couple scenes I had to turn away. But overall, oh yeah. I, I had fun watching it. I don't think it's like that great of a film. I I do agree. This I went into this movie with sort of high expectations because you hear like James Gunn is involved in it, so you're like, oh wow! I accidentally saw this trailer like months ago. All the trailer was was the the diner scene, so I was like, whoa! I was like, this looks really cool. And then as it got closer and closer, and I kept watching more and more trailers, I started thinking in my head like. This film kind of has a lighter budget than I thought it was going to have. Um, I guess this is a general warning for those of you who haven't seen the movie yet. If you haven't seen as many trailers, do yourself a favor and stick to that. Don't watch the trailers. It pretty much ruins the whole movie. Uh, TJ and, and me, we were sitting there watching. As we were watching, uh, he would lean over to me and I'd lean over to him and be like, yeah, that was in the trailer. As somebody who didn't watch the trailers, I can say, you're in for a surprise yeah yeah if you you know if you don't watch Eye. eyeball <sighs> good pulled one griffin pulled the, pulled the glass out of her eyeball nice nice job no yeah it was definitely a it was definitely a gross gross moment Disgusting. yeah that's but, not the only one yeah i mean oh my God. Yeah. yeah the movie has some kills that you sit there and you're like oh my that is like, see, I could have done without that, but at the same time, I'm, I think, the biggest fan of horror movies in this Definitely. group at the moment. Yeah. And, I mean, like, even I wanted to look away a couple of times, and I can, I can handle gore. It wasn't as good as I wanted it to be, but it wasn't as bad as I kind of thought it would be as well. It was just kind of an in-between. It was just an okay movie. Like, Startlingly average. Unfortunately average. Um, Given the concept. Yeah, basically the concept is what happens if a teenager that's starting to go through puberty is invincible. But more than just invincibility. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's a little, he's he's a little, a little strong. Bit. A little yeah, strong he, he's a little strong. Um, he shoots lasers. and He's, no, he he, he's essentially just... He's got sonic speed. Yeah, he's he essentially just Superman going through puberty. And instead of going the good route, he went the, I'm, since I'm far superior, I'm actually pretty sure he said that too. Yeah. He yeah. said like, oh yeah, I'm like, I'm super superior. I'm better in every way. He's above us lowly mortal. So yeah, like, I mean, that, those essentially are initial thoughts. Um, what did you guys think of the acting? I'm trying to think of something bad to say. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, I think it was pretty solid acting. Um, and I'm not really someone who knows too much about acting, uh, but from my lowly uh, layman's perspective, they, they did a very, very solid job. 
Uh, yeah. I agree. I, I agree too. I, I think the chemistry between the family was definitely there. Yeah. Like some movies can struggle where it's like, oh, we're a family. You're supposed to care about us, but they, the writers don't really nail that that chemistry that makes you connect to them. But I was at least in <clears throat> in terms of the positives, uh, it definitely made me like the film more, being more invested with each character. Uh, it wasn't even just the family that I liked. It was the the kind of supporting roles around the family. Um, one of them uh, being Uncle Noah. Yeah, Uncle, Uncle Noah was character. easily he was he was definitely he's just one of the best uh, in in the movie. Um, but yeah, I I thought the acting was 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 pretty pretty solid. There were a couple times where I honestly can't really blame the acting too much. I think it really comes down to some of the writing because some of the lines were I'm trying to remember what line it was oh my god I can't remember it it was towards the end and I kind of just sat there and was like really I think it was wait for the train to pass quick spoilers yeah that's actually really not Mega even Megamind shows up with his Mega fish minion they play Rex Fortnite everything. and the Hulk dabs <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, some of the writing was kind of, I, I think the actors did the best with what they had in terms of material. Uh, that's not to say the material wasn't like terrible, like unwatchable, but there were a couple of times I was like, eh, that line was a little, little off. Like sometimes like they would be kind of like on the nose. Actually, I kind of felt that way in the first like half of the movie before he turns like, you know, evil Superman or whatever. Right. I thought they were kind of hitting like on the nose too much that they're a happy family. Uh, like it was very much like, oh, we're a family, <laughs> remember. Look how perfect we are. Look <laughs> wow. at all these photos. Yeah, you, you know, when I, when, you know, when, when you, you, you showed up, like, man, I didn't know how to dad, but turns out can't like, just things like that, you know. Spoiler. <laughs> That's he like, eats candy in the movie. <laughs> yeah, he eats candy and he Spoiler. likes it. Spoiler. You don't need to see it anymore. Yeah, you know, that's the whole film. Uh, overall, uh, thanks for... No, I'm kidding. Um, so what did you think of the acting? I had no ex, but much like this fellow over here. Fellow layman. Fellow man. Wasn't bad. Wasn't like 10 out of 10 top tier. It was pretty good, though. Yeah. Not have any complaints. No, that... I, I... Uh, all right, so uh, let's talk about the, the cons of the film. Um, even though it was just kind of okay, I honestly don't really have many, like, problems with the movie. Uh, I definitely think one of the biggest things is, because this, this had a budget of about $7 million, um, which I thought it was going to have a little bit more. But I guess, I mean, I'm, I don't really claim to be a giant you know, film expert myself, but from what I've seen with like the success of Evil Dead and stuff like that, uh, when you have a low budget, you want to try to find ways to stretch out your budget as much as possible without making it look terrible. I know where you're going with this. Yeah, I mean like it's good to have ambition, like if you want like a really, you know, ballsy shot in a way and you're like, I don't know if we could do this. I feel like on the safe side, you probably shouldn't if you don't have the money for it. There's this one shot that, honestly, it's not even much of a spoiler because we know he's like Superman and he flies. So when he's flying, it's it's towards the end of the movie, uh, and you'll know which shot we're talking about when, it, or if you see it. Um, I, th I thought the footage froze because it kind of just, it, it was kind of him flying up, and then it just kind of sits right here, and like a couple clouds would like move past him, and like he was just still like, it was like him T-posing. <laughs> On, on like on the world and I'm like asserting a, his dominance yeah asserting dominance and like I, I hear these two friggin chuckling like a bunch of schoolgirls. girls like fucking E.T. man <laughs> like, you know, like, like there's no suspension of disbelief it was fucking like oh this guy in the studio it's not it's not boy flying it's not super boy flying it's a, yeah it's an average boy that but no I, one understands yeah <laughs> All the other shots of him flying, they looked good. Yeah, like, definitely. I, when they start like hinting at it in the beginning, and like, and I think, or the reason why it was so effective is because when you think about it, every single time he's flying, it's in a low lit situation, mm. or it's a lot darker. The shot was bright. It was a bright shot, and it did not look. It was so 
obvious that it wasn't him flying, that it was like, like, I get you wanted that, like, shot or whatever, but, like, I mean, like I said, I don't really claim to be an expert, but instead of doing, you know, wide shots that you really can't achieve with the budget, try to do extreme close-ups, it would still kind of signify he's still flying if you just keep their reactions, you know, because it looked fine when they were zooming in on, like, his reaction as he's flying, mm. but when you show, like, that wide shot, um... It looked like a fucking scene out of a cheesy musical. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it, was like, it, it looked like Aladdin. I totally expected a whole new world to start like blasting. I thought we were in the wrong movie for a second. Um, I think another kind of gripe for for me at least was uh, there were a couple like cliche moments. Yeah. Um, I, it's I love horror movies to death, but the thing I really can't stand is when something creepy happens, and the person's just like. Hello? <laughs> hello, hello. Phil, are, is that you in the bathroom? When it's clearly not Phil in the goddamn bathroom. Like, <laughs> like they, they, and even in the, the diner scene, they, they released this clip too. This guy named Gary or whatever, right? He, he leaves. He's like some, you know, he's some extra. And, yeah. and the, the waitress uh, that was in the trailer is like, oh, have a good night, Gary. And all of a sudden, all this creepy stuff happens inside the diner. And she locked the door. It shows it in the yeah. movie that she locks the door. And she's like, Gary? Gary, are you here? Yeah, and then what kind of annoyed me a little bit, but at the same time I did understand, was the mom's denial. And every, like, every time it happened, she was just like, nope, my son didn't do nothing, but I... My baby boy. But at the same time, I do, like, get it. Yeah. And and if you, if you like, pay attention to, like, the clues in the background, you'll, you can understand why uh, she's so, like, attached to her her son or whatever so like i can that like that's understandable but i still don't understand the whole gary gary hello when it's very clearly not gary it's not phil in the bathroom it's very clear well i mean devil's advocate here just a little like i mean if you're in her situation you're gonna be incredulous you're gonna be like uh what's all this creepy stuff happening what's going on so your mind's gonna try and go to the most logical conclusion even if it's not necessarily logical yeah so what were your guys' cons, or were they kind of very the same? Pretty much the same, yeah. honestly. Like That was another thing that I thought was oh, kind yeah. of annoying, was the ending. Like, it wasn't the main event of the ending that was the problem. It was kind of just like right when it happened, it was like, bright burn! And that was it. Also, the funniest, like, celebrity cameo towards the end, and if I guess, I guess it makes sense, because he's worked with Gunn before. So, I think overall, it wasn't like a terrible movie. It wasn't a great movie. I just don't really see myself remembering anything else other than the kills, to be completely honest, which makes me, makes me sad, because I thought this movie had a lot of potential. I think it was just executed average at best. So, I, I guess we'll, we can talk about our, our scoring now. So, we'll start with you, Griff. Uh, what did uh, you think? Big Fat Six. Big fat six. Big fat six. I, I, I like that. I well, like that. Like, it's not a bad film, right? It's just not spectacular. And you know what? Not every film has to be, you know? It's just like, no. it's not like I'm going to be like, you have to see this. But if you're just like, you know, just chilling at home, just want something just fun to pass the time with, it's just like, you know, you can't go wrong with it. Yeah, it's, it's still better than some of the Netflix films I've seen that are like straight to Netflix, especially uh, the low budget A Quiet Place uh, the Silence, if you've ever seen it. Oh boy, I'm, I honestly was kind of considering doing a video on that movie alone, just talking about how terrible it was. Um, but yeah, I think I would, I would give it, a, I would give it a 6.5. I definitely think that it had some cliche moments. Honestly, I think I probably would have given it a seven had it not been the last like five to ten minutes, because it was just kind of like okay, I've seen this before, and then it was like, oh, okay, cop out, and then, oh, yeah. I, I do agree with, with Griffin on that one, where it's like, I guess if you haven't seen the movie and you got nothing else to do, it's a rainy day, I'd give it a watch. It's it's an entertaining hour and a half. And what about you, TJ? Yeah, I'm pretty much the same as you two. I'd give it a six, not Ooh. going as easy on it as this Ooh. clown over here. <laughs> You know, like Bringing in the heart. Not knots. gonna remember it in like two weeks, except for like that, that one last scene. Cause <laughs> can't wait for the memes on that yeah. one. Or or some of the the kills. Yeah, a couple of them. Yeah. Even yeah. though my my memory might just block them out. 
because that's also valid. Some kills that were very reminiscent of, um, it kind of reminded me of, of Dead Space. I said that to you. Uh, I said that it reminded me yeah. of Dead Space. Yeah. Especially that that one kill. And anyone who plays Dead Space, if you see this movie, you'll you'll know which death I'm talking. Actually, there were two that I thought were very reminiscent of of kind of Dead Space in terms of it's not holding back on kills. Um, what was the second one? Yeah. Uh, all right, so that was our review of Brightburn. Uh, if you like what you saw here, we have a few other reviews. Um, uh, by the time this comes... Oh, wait a minute. You guys a douche. What a guy. All right, so that was our review of Brightburn. If you guys liked what you saw here, we have uh, a couple other reviews. Um, Wind's picking up. All right, so that was our review of Brightburn. If you guys liked what you saw here, we have a few other reviews on the channel. Uh, Glass, uh, John Wick 3... I just reviewed that one a couple days ago. Um, by the time this comes out, uh, my review for Aladdin should uh, be out as well. I can give that a look as well. Um, and if you guys, you know, like what you see here, um, like, subscribe, and uh, you know, stick around with us for TGB. We have some skits. We have some. We have a, a pretty big short film on the way that we still can't really say too much about yet. But we're we're very excited to to reveal that stuff to you guys and. Um, as always, I uh, hope you guys have a good day. Peace Be out. Be sure to click right here to see something funny. Hmm. Hmm. What are you going to do about it? I want a roll now. I want like a roll with butter. You want to go get food? Where can we go? Anywhere. Somewhere the good. The world is our oyster.